Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Rocket Raccoon from the newest um, Guardians of the Galaxy wave, which I'm actually, for the movie, I'm really excited for. Uh, I love the Guardians, they're my favorite team in the MCU, I like them better than the Avengers, they're just so funny. Um, so I saw Rocket uh, at my GameStop, they finally restocked, which was surprising. So there was Mantis, Rocket, um, and... Craglin there and I picked up like I like looked through him saw rocket and like bought him on the spot so uh here he is now and I've got to say I really like him he was way smaller than I thought but I suppose with the six inch scale this is about accurate um sorry about that my dog's hanging out behind me but anyways uh yeah let's uh just get right into the box here before we continue make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification uh but yeah so putting Rocket off to the side here, uh, we have the box, and I think the box looks nice, although, again, windowless, not the best. Um, but either way, this is a very nice looking box. I did pay, I th this is overpriced, I'm just going to say it now, $25 for oh, this size figure, actually, like how tall is he? Not like three inches, um, that's kind of like $25 for a three inch figure and a piece of a dog is kind of a lot so I feel like even 20 might have been a bit much but like you know 15 or something because like Hasbro like did stuff with their smaller figures you know Grogu and stuff with the uh, Black Series that if it's a smaller figure you get a lower price but I don't know I guess Rocket the who's half the size of a regular figure counts as a full one I don't know it's kind of weird um, anyways, take a look at the box here. Um, the sticker covers up the uh, uh, corner here, but it says Marvel's Rocket right there. You have Rocket Raccoon and his giant gun. We've seen this one before, but we'll get into that later. Uh, Marvel Studios right there. The Rocket on the box, that looks very nice. You have the Guardians of the Galaxy logo, which uh, I don't know if you've heard the theories about like Rocket dying and stuff because of the color, but I think that's interesting. I hope he doesn't die. He's my favorite Guardian. Right. Call me basic. Um... On the side, you have our Build-A-Figure thing, and I noticed on here it only says Drax, Mantis, Nebula, Rocket, Warlock, and Kraglin. Um, so we're missing Groot, uh, Gamora, because I think she's in that movie. She's going to be in that movie. Uh, Groot, Gamora, and Peter Quill, but I have seen Peter Quill, so um, I don't know if he came in a previous series or if they just for some reason didn't list him on the box here, but either way, kind of weird. Because uh, on the back here, uh, unlike normal... Marvel Legends, they don't show the figures in the series here, so they just have the names here, which I thought found kind of weird. Rocket does come with the dog, uh, Cosmos, um, his or her, I can't tell, um, body and head. I thought in the first movie it was a boy, and then I watched Christmas special and it sounded like a girl, so I don't know. The dog. Um, on the back here, we have a nice product image, same as, oh wait, no, different from the back there. Uh, Marvel's Rocket, Marvel Legends. On the side, you get a cool shot of Rocket with some spaceship in the background. On the top, you get the Guardians Ravager logo thing. And plastic-free packaging except tape and glue. I wish they would... Honestly, I, I need the window. I actually opened the box and thought he wasn't in there because he was so small. I don't know. I just, like, I couldn't find him in there. So, I guess... I guess that's my problem because obviously he was in there but it was still kind of like it's i don't i don't like the new method of packaging honestly i'm just gonna i don't like it i don't like it um but yeah anyways uh let's get on to the uh figure all right taking a look at rocket out of the packaging i think he looks great uh i really like him rocket is my favorite guardian um be it or like just barely in front of peter quill peter is awesome too but uh, I saw this rocket and immediately bought him. I knew I had to have him. I mean, he looks so cool in this uh, outfit here. And yeah, taking a look at him up close though. Uh, he's got some very nice paint. This is a reused head sculpt from, uh, I forget what it's called. It's uh, one of the Guardians 2 rockets. This is a reused head sculpt from him. Um, but the paint looks really nice. His eyes look kind of weird. But other than that, yeah, paint is done very nicely on here. And it looks like rocket. Uh, what I think is awesome is his little suit here. This looks amazing. Um, they have the nice, uh, actually, hold on. All right, so I wasn't actually able to find my, uh, rocket, but I do have, like, these 3.5 inch figures, 3.75 inch figures, and they have the same sort of suit. Uh, so I was really excited when I saw rocket in the 
Guardians wearing these. I was like, oh, hey, that's like from the comics. That looks cool. Uh, so yeah, because I mean, as you can tell, these are basically the same suit, except there's uh, a lot more lines, brighter colors. Um, but yeah, no, this looks uh, really good on Rocket, and I love this suit. I can't wait to see it in the movie. Um, I'm definitely going to see this in theaters. Some of the Marvel movies I skipped on. I saw Quantumania just as a little thing to do with friends. I didn't act like... It wasn't a pressing matter if I had to go see it. I was just like, I'm bored. I want to do something with friends. But this one, I, I want to go see it in theaters ASAP. So, uh, yeah, this rocket is amazing. Um, he didn't come with any accessory. Well, he came with his gun. But I meant he didn't come with any extra head sculpts or hands. Which maybe would have made the price boost up a little bit. But, it, I mean, honestly, this... Like, it still wouldn't have made it worth $25. But it would have helped if he had extra hands or, like, a separate head. Because, I mean, this head... It does pop off pretty easily. You could, you could put uh, another head sculpt in there. By the way, speaking of the head, this is just a ball socket on here. You can't really, there's no extra hinge in there. So just a fixed ball socket that you can look around on. But yeah, speaking of accessories, let's take a look at his gun here. Uh, we have seen this before. I think this was in the first Guardians rocket. Um, he had this gun, it was in a lighter tan color, like a beige. I don't have that rocket, I just recognized it off the package of the other one. I was like, oh, hey, he comes with this gun again. Uh, this time it's in full black, and I like the look of it. I'm glad I have it. Um, it's very bulky, and I always love that rocket. The tiny little pint-sized, like, Guardian has the biggest guns out of all of them. I always found that really funny. Uh, so yeah, um, the sculpting on this, uh, weapon is very nice. Glad we're still getting weapons out of uh, Hasbro. Um, guns and stuff. Got the scope up there. Yeah, no. Um, you have some sort of guard here. I'm not... I think that looks pretty cool, though. Like a trigger guard thing here. This is where he grabs onto. Uh, I think you can, like, wrap his arm around this thing and then kind of have his arm in there. I think this looks really nice, though. Um, and it really complements the figure. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, if you get him to hold it here, I'll get him to hold it by the trigger instead of the other thing. But yeah, here he is with, uh, holding the gun. And I think the black, like when he's holding the gun, the like dark black, like weapon then is like giant or not giant, but like his really bright pastel, uh, suit. Like I wouldn't say pest or like pastel, but you know, just like the really bright colors. Like, I think it looks, uh, I think the gun complements it pretty well. I wish there were some paint apps. I'm sure some customizers will do, like, a silver wash in there bring out the details. But, um, yeah, no, the gun looks really good. Uh, let's get into the figure, though, a little more. So, we already took a look at sculpting for the most part. The badge isn't just solid, though. It, is, it has some nice sculpting. MCU, of course, has to add lines to everything. So, there's just a bunch of random lines and scenes that don't make sense, but... Uh, whatever, I guess it's there. Um, on the back here, you can see his tail. You can take the tail out. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but here's a close-up on his tail, which looks pretty good. And then here's a look at his back with no tail, so you can see some of the details a little better. Looks very nice. Now, being he is a small man... Hold on, let me plug his tail back in. Um, being he is a small man, or a raccoon, rather, um... He doesn't have very good articulation, which is fine. For for his size, he has great articulation. I'm glad that they, uh, like, gave him articulation. So, for his head, you can get a nice look that way and that way. You can't make him look down any further than this unless you use th this right here, which kind of looks weird. It's like he's, like, shoulder-checking someone or trying to go at someone. Um, he doesn't look up or down very far, uh, but you can turn his head all the way around. His arms will go up about here on either side which is pretty nice he gets 90 degree rotate or uh, 90 degree elbow joint there and it can swivel from side to side and his hand will turn all the way around and go this side goes up and down this way at the wrist and this one has the gun sort of holding one where it goes up and down on the wrist here like that so, um, I'm glad that they did that instead of, uh, I think, I forget, there's some figure I had, I think it was Marvel, and they didn't have very good gun hands, like, they both did this, like, how the support hand does, so, um, but yeah, no, this is a very nice, uh, some very nice articulation, 
um, for upper body. He also has uh, some ab crunch. You can go forwards that far, backwards that far, and side to side rocking. And that can also twist all the way around. He can sit basically all the way out, which is really nice. Yeah, you can sit all the way out. Um, and then he can move his legs all the way back, which is nice. He has a thigh swivel right here. And then he has 90 degree knee joint, so he can only kick out or kick in that far. He has some nice ankles that go that far back, that far forward, and do have a bit of pivot on there. So hold on. They do have a little bit of pivot on there, so that's nice. Uh, his tail is also articulated. Obviously, you can turn it all the way around like this. You can also make it go up, oh, uh, down, and up like so. So yeah, very nice. Taking a look at the Build-A-Figure piece he comes with. I almost forgot about that again, like I usually do. Um, I think Cosmo looks really nice. Um, think he's a funny character, or she, I can't tell anymore. Uh, very nice dog um, sculpt here, though. Um, very cute. I love dogs. I'm a dog guy. I have my dog laying under me right now, under my desk. I have a dog bed for her, and she's just snoozing. So, um, And she is. she's not a golden retriever like this one seems to be. She's a yellow lab, but I always just love to see this sort of, like, this sort of dog. And, um, yeah, I'm glad this is... Uh, the representation of Cosmos? I don't know. I'm just trying to say that I like the dog, okay? Um, but yeah, so Rocket does come with uh, Cosmos's body and head here. Um, the uh, helmet here comes with Kraglin, the, uh, as does the tail, and then the other characters come with the legs. So yeah, um, but as for Cosmos here, you have some nice articulation in the waist here. Up not really up or down, but side to side for sure. Um, and the head, you can turn side to side like that. Uh, not really up, oh, kind of up. And down, not really any down. So yeah, very nice. All right, so Rocket here stands at, again, about three inches tall. And for some size comparisons, here he is next to, I don't have very many guardians. I have like the what if T'Challa Star-Lord here. Here he is next to Iron Man. Uh, get an Iron Man to stand there. There we go. There he is next to those two. Here he is next to Deadpool and Moon Knight. There we go. And here he is next to some random teenage group that I found at, um, I don't know, I forget where. Uh, he also came with a rocket. And then here's next to our party Sonic the Hedgehog. Very nice. So yeah, overall, I think this is a very nice figure. Um, I love Rocket and I'm glad I got a representation of him finally because the other ones are really expensive now. Uh, other Marvel Legends. I This one was expensive though, $25 plus tax close to 30 for this rocket that comes with no extra hands and um, a gun is kind of a lot. So uh, if you have money to burn, get them. If you don't, I'd say probably don't get them uh, because I don't know, he's a really nice uh, figure, but he's not $30 nice. Um, and yeah, so I'm definitely glad I have him. Um, I also, I don't know why, cause uh, I guess I haven't gotten these rocket figures before. I thought he'd be like up to here maybe a little bit. I don't know. I think I'm crazy because I don't think that's accurate scaling either anyways. So I'm glad he's the right height. He should be cheaper uh, for what he is because it's just so weird like having this guy be the same price as Drax. Like Drax is a big bulky guy and he comes with like two knives and he's like all like you know i'm sure he comes with different hands or i don't know if marvel legends do that anymore honestly um seeing as how some of these guys have been but you know like drax is 25 dollars and he's like he's like 
tall and he's got knives and bulky and he's whatever. And then you have Rocket Raccoon selling for the same price and he's like not even half the size of Drax and he's like got a gun, I guess. And it's like, that's kind of overpriced. So, um, yeah, still a nice figure. Not $30 nice. Should be cheaper. But, uh, yeah, that's just my final thoughts on the figure. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.